First reading, a reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 17 to 24. As the saying goes, before long the dense forest will become farmland, and the farmland will go back to forest. When that day comes, the deaf will be able to hear a book being read aloud, and the blind who have been living in darkness will open their eyes and see. Poor and humble people will once again find the happiness which the Lord, the Holy God of Israel, gives. It will be the end of those who oppress others and show contempt for God. Every sinner will be destroyed. God will destroy those who slander others, those who prevent the punishment of criminals, and those who tell lies to keep honest people from getting justice. So now the Lord, the God of Israel, who rescued Abraham from trouble, says, My people, you will not be disgraced any longer, and your faces will no longer be pale with shame. When you see the children that I will give you, then you will acknowledge that I am the Holy God of Israel. You will honor me and stand in awe of me. Foolish people will learn to understand, and those who are always grumbling will be glad to be taught. The Word of the Lord you believe that I can do this? This is the reply of Jesus to the blind man who asked him for a miracle. The Holy Gospel of our Lord according to Saint Matthew. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him and Jesus said to them, do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all the land. This is the Gospel of the Lord. We read a few Gospels about miracles this week, this beginning uh, week of Advent season. And we saw in almost all of them, Jesus replying to them, to their faith. In today's Gospel, these two blind men come to Jesus, approached him, and Jesus asks them what they want him to do. And then he asks whether they believe that he can do this. That faith is needed so that we can receive our Lord's grace. That faith is important. If we do not believe that the Lord is with us, if we do not believe that he can do work miracles in our lives, then we will never change. That means that we have not given him our life. That means we have not gifted him, offered him our problems and our situations that we face in life. We do not believe in him. But if we believe, if we have faith in the Lord, just like those blind men who didn't see the Lord, but just heard him and wanted to see. If they could have come to him 
and believed in Jesus, a person that they cannot see, that we also, although we see him as we meditated a few uh, days ago, although we see him in the Eucharist, although we, although we see him in our lives, we sometimes in our bad situations, in our problems, we don't see him in those situations because we do not believe in him. So I ask you, have faith in the Lord. Whatever you're going through, whatever troubled life you're going through, have faith in the Lord. Because if you offer that up to him, he will provide. He will be there with you. And he will work out miracles in your life and in the lives that surround you. Sweet. Watching it all.